Morris County Historical Society is a member-supported 501c3 nonprofit organization incorporated in 1946 and located here at Acorn Hall since 1971. Now in our 75th year, our mission is to preserve and promote Morris County history. Our stewardship, care, restoration, and interpretation of Acorn Hall over the past 50 years is one of the most outwardly apparent ways we embody our mission. Acorn Hall was built in 1853 for John Skirmerhorn and his family. It was sold to Augustus Crane in 1857, and between 1857 and 1860, Crane made Acorn Hall the Italianate home in the country he desired. He added the two and a half floor Eastern Edition and the tower, raised the roof line, and added elements like the detail on the porches and roof brackets that make the hall more Italianate in style. Acorn Hall served as a home of four generations of the Crane and Crane Hone family members until it was donated to MCHS in 1971 by Miss Mary Crane Hone, the last of the four generations to call Acorn Hall home. Miss Hone recognized that the hall was so much original family furniture, fine and decorative arts and archival materials still remaining, not only needed to be preserved, but that it should be, it should be open to serve the community as a house museum available for all to enjoy, appreciate, and learn from. MCHS, in partnership with the Morris County Historical Preservation Trust, New Jersey Historic Trust, and New Jersey Cultural Trust, recently completed a full exterior restoration of Acorn Hall. The building now reflects its 1860 to 1880 appearance. In recognition of the original color palette and Augustus Crane's use of the land as a gentleman's farm, it became clear that Crane was influenced by and exemplified the commonly held mid-19th century philosophies of Andrew Jackson Downing. MCHS is currently in the process of restoring our gardens and grounds to better reflect Downing's tenants. We've removed features installed in the 1970s that make the grounds structured, formal, and high Victorian, and have incorporated more native plantings, sweeping lines, organic structure, and natural feel, those which more exemplified Downing's philosophies. The Downing aesthetic is what we see in our, one of our 19th century photographs showing the tilled and planted lands.